Hi, my name is Leanne Reimel. I'm a Principal Admin Evangelist here at Salesforce. Did you know that you can use custom report types to create reports for information all throughout your org, like on user records, to return license information? That's right, you can use custom report types on all your objects and use them to create reports that help return information about your org. Let's take a look. So we're in our demo environment and we wanna create a report on what licenses we're using. When we go to our standard reports and select our user's standard report type, license is not an available field. So we need to go ahead and create a custom report type. Let's go to setup and go to report type. This is where we get to our custom report types area in setup. We select new custom report type. The first thing we do is select which is our primary object. So in this example, we're gonna do users. Make sure you name this report type accurately. Um, because this will be useful when you want to run it later. And of course, check deployed or else it won't be available to run. We're only going to do the user's objects. We can go next on that page. Now we're in our layout. So we want to select what fields we want to add. So the first thing we're going to do is add a new section for license data. Now we've got all of our existing fields that came in with the user object, but license is not included. So we're going to add fields via lookup on the right panel there. Now this is a super cool tool with custom report types because you can go multiple lookups and add fields from related objects, even if that object is not part of your original custom report type model. So we can go ahead and add fields from the profile, from the user license, and these are related object to the user object. Now this is a super useful tool. I use the lookup so often in custom report types. And also we're gonna go ahead and drag those fields down to the section. I like using sections a lot in custom report types because you'll see why it makes it a lot easier when you're making a report. Now we've saved it. Let's go ahead and click back into new report. And we go into our administrative reports. I can see that great label, users with license data. Now I'm gonna clear this filter out because it's not useful. Um, this is how we're gonna run our report. And you can decide if you wanna make these reports available to your users, these report types and I can go into my fields and search here on the left panel for specific fields I wanna add. But one thing that's super handy is when we created that section, we made it really easy to toggle right to that um, section of fields that we had added. So I highly recommend using sections. Um, we can go ahead and double click there to add those to our report. Now let's go ahead and add some filters. We wanna get rid of some of our like automated user records. So we only want uh, user records that are actually using a license. And now we can do things like group by license, right? So if we wanna group by licenses to understand how are we using those different licenses, there we go. So this is a great tool to get more hands-on with data in your org. And when you find that normal, uh, the standard report types are not kind of meeting your needs, you can go ahead and jump into custom report types, especially working with those lookup fields. Uh, they're so useful. So to get more hands-on with custom report types, check out this great blog by Evan Ponter on the admins blog. It is the guide to custom report types and it'll walk you through a few more CRTs that you can build in your orgs today. That's all for today. Thanks for joining. See you next time.